Health Works, missing out on sleep has an impact that goes way beyond simply making you feel tired. Corwell Health, Dr. Aja Shahjahan, explains how sleep for kids is crucial to their development and growth. Let me just start by asking you, how important is sleep to a developing child? It's integral for a developing child because that's where you start having your memories made, you start having your metabolism, you grow, all of these things. It helps with your mood the very next day, irritability, ability to concentrate. So many factors are built when we sleep. And when we sleep, it is helping your body reset all those systems or how does sleep it do all of that. So there's different uh, stages of sleep and I won't get into that too much, but think about it as like a vacuum cleaner, going in and cleaning up all the toxins that went on during the day and then sort of like rejuvenating. So if you don't, let's say you are not able to clean your house and it's all jumbled and messy, how are you gonna get through the day? Mm -hmm. But when everything is nicely cleaned and put away, then you're, you're fresh for the next day. That's kind of like what sleep does for your body. What are some of the key things that we need to remember I suppose the big part of it is before you go to bed, you have to do something to make sure the child knows or the body knows it's time to get ready for sleep. Yeah, so things like putting the, the temperature down in the house, usually around 67 degrees, it kind of helps your body realize that, okay, it's time to go to bed. Also, you know, making sure it's dark in the room, making sure there's no lights and devices, especially things that pop up and make noise. You kind of want to have a quiet surrounding. And about an hour before you go to bed, you want to avoid eating anything too heavy, no exercise, no caffeine, no sugar, just sort of like quiet your body down. And doctor is one of those things that tells your brain it's time to wake up. Yes. So eliminating light is super important. Yes, and especially those alerts on your phones because when that's out there, sometimes they're coming on and you wake up and you reach over to turn it off or the alerts and that, and that can really disrupt your sleep and can lead to long-term sleep problems. Bottom line, try to convince the kids they don't need that phone when it's time to sleep. In fact, that phone needs to be far, far away. That's HealthWorks. I'm Dina Santafonte.